So I remember my first day at my first manufacturing job very clearly. I remember I had almost not gotten the job, actually. I had went to college before and whatnot, and they almost uh, didn't give me the job, thought I might be uh, overqualified. But I do remember uh, really wanting the job. I remember when I interviewed, they walked me through the shop, and it was it was an older shop, had uh, older machines, and they kind of had soot on them. There was dirt on the floor. It was smelled of metal and oil but I I loved it I really did and uh, big shop a lot of a lot of manufacturing fabrication and whatnot and so they did hire me though I did get the job and I came in for my first day and I was assigned as a welder in the welding department and so I remember I went back and part of my job was to weld these hubs on these giant sprockets and I remember getting in there and I got with my trainer and he was helping me set up my job and I got my first look at a production print and <laughs> looked at it and it had these all these numbers on it. it had a part number and a name and it had all these dimensions on there there were angles for set screw holes and bore sizes and where to weld the hub and all this information on the on the teeth of the sprocket and I remember thinking I was like, oh man, I I should not be here. This is what am I doing? I, I can't do this. This isn't, isn't the job for me. And I remember thinking I had made a big mistake, and I almost quit. I almost left that job and said this isn't for me. But I but I stuck it out. I, I believed in kind of you know giving things a good solid run and sticking it out. And turns out I absolutely loved it. Really, you know, even the welding I enjoyed it at first. It it felt like good honest hard work and I remember setting up these hubs and and setting up the welds and I got used to the production prints and whatnot I was a welder in that shop for probably about eight nine months until they ended up moving me to a CNC position job I did some manual machining before that and then took over one of the CNC machines there and uh, and got really familiar with the prints then and tolerances and really just sort of fell in love with the trade, uh, fell in love with manufacturing, right? Being able to make real things, real parts that were affecting the real world in very tangible ways. You know, at the end of the day, I think it's important to remember that sometimes you're going to be faced with a task that seems like it's not for you, that seems daunting, but you should stick to it. And sometimes you just got to give give something a chance and you may just find something that is your calling, right? You may just find yourself in a spot where at first you thought you weren't supposed to be there. As it turns out, it's exactly where you were supposed to be.